What's up guys? In this video, we are going to break down a sample TMC practice question about when you should or shouldn't make changes to a patient's ventilator settings depending on how much or how little ventilatory support they need at that particular time. So if you're ready, let's get into it. A 176 pound male patient is intubated and receiving volume controlled assist controlled ventilation with a set rate of 12, a set tidal volume of 550 milliliters, and a set FiO2 of 40%. An ABG was collected and analyzed and a ventilator assessment revealed the following. pH of 7.39, PaCO2 of 37, a bicarb of 23, a PaO2 of 107, and the ventilator assessment revealed a spontaneous tidal volume of 180 milliliters, a spontaneous rate of 37 breaths per minute, a vital capacity of 550 milliliters, and a maximum inspiratory pressure of negative 12. Which of the following would you recommend? A. Place the patient on a 40% T-piece and monitor closely. B. Switch the patient to SIMV at a rate of 5 breaths per minute. C. Place the patient on CPAP and monitor closely. Or D. Maintain the current ventilator settings and reevaluate later. Do you know the answer? Let's break it down. To get this one right, you needed to be able to interpret the patient's ABG results and make the appropriate changes to the ventilator settings if necessary. Again, these are the types of questions in this format that you'll likely see a few of on the TMC exam. So the first thing you should look at is the ABG results. All of the values are within the normal ranges, so this ABG is normal. Then you can look at the bedside measurements that were obtained during the ventilator assessment. A spontaneous breathing rate of 37 breaths per minute is very fast. A spontaneous tidal volume of 180 milliliters is very low and the vital capacity and MIP are decreased as well. All of these findings basically indicate that this patient is not ready for a spontaneous breathing trial and should not yet be attempted to wean from the ventilator. So in this case, it's best to maintain the current settings and reevaluate the patient at a later time. All of the answer choices that were provided except for one demonstrate some type of weaning. So that is something to remember. T-piece, the mode SIMV, and using CPAP, these are all methods that can be used to wean the patient from the ventilator. So by looking at all the data that was given in the question, you can easily see that this patient clearly is not ready for that yet. So you can rule them all out right away. And that only leaves one, which tells us that the correct answer has to be D. Maintain the current ventilator settings and reevaluate later. So there you have it. That wraps up this video on making changes to a patient's ventilator settings. And I hope that you found it helpful going through and breaking down the sample TMC practice questions. If so, then you are in luck because this only scratches the surface of what we have to offer for our students. As I always say, going through practice questions is by far one of the best methods to prepare for and pass the TMC exam. And that is why so many of our students have been having such success here lately. If you want to get access to our entire massive bank of practice questions, just like the one in this video, you can consider checking out our TMC test bank, where we have over 800 of these bad boys that cover every single topic that you need to know for the TMC exam. So if you're interested, I will drop a link down below in the description. And also, if you'd like to get our practice questions delivered straight to your inbox on a daily basis, you can consider signing up for our Practice Questions Pro membership, where the members get a brand new practice questions straight to their inbox every day, and these little tidbits of knowledge over time add up to massive results. It costs less than one of those fancy cups of coffee that all the kids are drinking these days, so if you're interested, I'll drop a link to that as well down below in the description. 
Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what topics you want us to cover next. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend. Yeah.